Let's write the balanced equation for the decomposition of NaHCO3. This is sodium bicarbonate. Sometimes it's called sodium hydrogen carbonate. It's decomposing into sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. We'll also look at the type of reaction and then write the states. Let's start with the type of reaction. We have this one compound here, and it's breaking down into multiple compounds. That makes this a decomposition reaction. Let's balance the equation. We have one sodium, one hydrogen, and one carbon in the reactants. And then we have the three oxygen atoms. In the products, we have two sodium atoms. Hydrogen, we have two. Carbon, we have one. And don't forget the one in the carbon dioxide. That's two. Oxygen, we have three plus one plus two. That equals six. It looks like if we put a two as our coefficient here in front of the sodium bicarbonate, the NaHCO3, two applies to the whole compound. One times two, that'll give us two of those. One times two, one carbon times the two, and then three oxygens times the two, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If you had problems balancing this equation, it's probably because you didn't count either both of the carbons or all of the oxygen atoms here. So you've got to be careful with that. If we're to write the states, we start out with the solid here, and we end up with solid sodium carbonate. But because we'll have to heat this up, water, that'll most likely be a gas, at least initially, and carbon dioxide, that's a gas as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaHCO3 decomposing into this sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. The type of reaction? Decomposition. Thanks for watching.